Okay, for the mustache here, I comb, comb our mustache down. I'm gonna use my curved scissors again because they make a nice little curve here. So we cut from front to back, and then under here I kind of go out a little bit and try to line up where I started and come right up under the ear. I know it. So then I get my basic line and you can see all this craziness that she's got. So what I do then is I take my thinning shears and I just soften that line and I try to work it into just a nice little shape whatever looks best for the dog's face so you can see that and then for the top of the nose ma'am thank ma'am thank you for the top of the nose if they've got all these sticky ups here i take my thinning shears and i just thin that out if you don't have thinning shears you can take your scissors and just scissor the top of that. Thinning shears are magic though, so highly recommend them. I'm just going to soften this up just a little bit more here. I'm going to do the other side. Comb it down. Take it. For underneath, I like to comb it up, just kind of try to fluff that, and then you can take this and the curve will set right along that throat line, so you can kind of get all the, the throat stuff cleaned out. shears on this side and try to get the shape to match the other side. This side is not my better side. The right side, well, it's the dog's left, but looking at the dog, the right side is my best side. I usually spend a lot more time nitpicking the left, the left side here. But, to be honest, we don't have very much time to nitpick today, so. We're gonna do what we can, aren't we, sister? All right, so let me take our ears down. Comb everything. See how it lays. You can kind of see the top of her head's got some wonky areas. So go back through, touch those up, make that all look nice and pretty. Lucy's mad because Austin went to let, let the dogs out, so her boyfriend left. She's very upset. I'm sure you can hear her yapping in the background every now and then. Up around the mouth, if they get those, the really icky, like, little wet spot to pair. Hold the mouth closed and I usually put my fingers over the front and then you can trim those mouth hairs. And then for the other side, again, my fingers kind of covering it and you can trim those off. The ones that they suck inside their mouth and get all gross. 
gross and nasty. I try to keep those trimmed down. Um, always cut in the direction of the hair so like down here I cut this way but I wouldn't want to do that up here um, you want to cut like the hair is growing down so you can either cut down or up in the same direction as the hair but don't cut across the hair that's when you get your lines um, that's one thing thinning shears are really good for though. They're a lot more forgiving if you do cut across. You don't see real big choppy marks. Um, I get my, in case you want to look at uh, grooming equipment that is for cutting hair. Um, I get mine at affordablegroomingshears.com. Uh, he's got really good equipment at really nice prices. I think you can get a pair of good scissors on there for like $60 or so is one of his lower end ones. Um, I mean, he's got expensive ones too that are a couple hundred dollars and those are really nice scissors. But the ones that you need, you should be okay with some of the cheaper ones. Well, I think that's about it, other than just my nitpicking, which I'm overly zealous at. But uh, that's the basics of it. If you've got any other questions, just feel free to ask. And if I need to make another video, I can. That's not a big deal. I've got plenty of plenty of dogs so all right